The Republican Party's stronghold in Lansing includes the 101st district seat held by incumbent Ray Franz. August 7th, Democrats in Benzie, Leelanau, Manistee, and Mason County will choose who they want to challenge Franz in November. Former Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians Tribal Chairman Derek Bailey or Manistee resident and small business owner Alan O'Shea. I have been, you know, a public servant for about 35 of those years. Uh, township supervisor, moved on to county commission uh, and on school boards uh, at at Brethren High School and at the ISD. As tribal chairman, I enjoyed great relationships with local, state, and federal level of government. It's the same type of intensity and outreach that I would bring as a state representative in the 101st District. Earlier this year, Bailey decided to exit the race for U.S. Congress and concentrate on a state office. One of his goals, improve early childhood education in Michigan. If elected, Bailey says he would also use his experience as a government leader with the Grand Traverse Band to promote job growth in his district. I have to look right away at jobs in the economy. I think every candidate is probably talking, and we should be. And I know I look back upon my time as tribal chairman and being, again, the, one of the largest employers in the region here, we know about job creation and also creating jobs that have livable wages and sustainability. Alan O'Shea's plan to create jobs stems from his experience as a small business owner. His business includes renewable energy production, but his platform is not limited to environmental protection. He cites several flaws in Michigan's education policies and wants to change them. The cyber school and the charter school approach should be under the public education umbrella. It should not be uh, privatized, and in my opinion, it's outsourced because we don't even know where those companies are coming from. Voters head to the poll one week from Tuesday. With an uncontested Republican primary, incumbent Ray Franz has the luxury of watching, waiting to see who he will face in November. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Brody O'Connell.